Shalom. All praises, honor, and glorification unto our mighty, marvelous, and wonderful power. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone whom rule well and who are great examples towards younger brethren. Salutations as well as health and wellness unto the hopeful elect of Yahweh by Shimei Awashai scattered across the earth. This is your brother Ayla coming to you with another lesson. And the title of this lesson will be Being Servants of the Lord is Our Purpose. This Occupational Duty is Our Moral Obligation. Right? Once again, being servants of the Lord is our purpose. This occupational duty is our moral obligation. And, uh, you know, Lord willing, this lesson will be a quick hit and straight to the point. And Lord willing, the elect of Yahweh by Shemi, I wish I be edified. Right, so I want to start off at the book of Second Timothy, the second chapter, in the third verse. And it reads, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. And that's the point. Right? We operate in the way that we ought to operate with the intent of um with the intent of pleasing him who have chosen us to be a soldier. Right? You know, <clears throat> right? That's the, that's the objective, right? That's a part of, um, well, that, that's the result of finishing our course rather, which since I said that, let me get this as well. Let me get first Timothy four and so like, yeah, I think it's second Timothy. Yeah, 2 Timothy 4 and 7, and it reads, I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. Right? And like I said, that's the result of finishing our course, which is the objective. Right? Let me get this as well to land back off of that. First uh, Timothy 6 and 12, and it reads, Fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called, and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. Right? So continuing on, let me get this. Right? Because a part of service you know, or in regards to service, selflessness to an extent needs to be present, right? And that's a trait, if you will, that we have to have as soldiers and servants of Yahweh Bashami Awashai, right? Selflessness, which I'll get that definition, but this is uh, Romans 12 and 1. And it reads, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present yourselves, uh, Salakia, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. Let's see. Right. And for the definition of the word selflessness, you see it says, Concern more with the needs and wishes of others than with one's own. And see, you know, when you come into the truth, you have to put aside your own wishes, you know. You know, and I believe there's a scripture. Hopefully I can think of it. Um, damn, let me see.
Shalaki, hold tight. There we go. There we go. The water of hell by Shemiah Rashad. This is uh, Matthew, the 19th chapter, verse 21. Salakia. Uh, verse Matthew, chapter 16, verse 24. And it reads, Then say Yahweh Shai unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. See? And when you come into the truth, you have to pretty much deny your own wishes. You know? So it reads, uh, Then say Yahweh Shai unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. See? <clears throat> right, so uh, moving on, let me get Jeremiah the first chapter. Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 4, and it reads, Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Right? Verse 6, Then said I, Ah, Lord, power, behold, I cannot speak for him. For, oh, Salaki, that's it on that. But it says, For I am a child. Yeah, that's it on that. The point was uh, verses 4 and 5. So let's see. Let me get 1 Corinthians 15 and 58. And it reads, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. See? So let me see. We can get Deuteronomy to 10th chapter, verse 12. And it reads, And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy power require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy power, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Right. To keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes which I command thee this day for thy good. And we can get that as well. First Samuel 12 and 24. <clears throat> And it reads, only fear the Lord and serve him in truth with all your heart, for consider how great things he have done for you. Right? Which that brings my mind back to uh, Romans 12 and 1 and how it said, uh, which is your reasonable service. See? So let's get Psalms 2 and 11. And it reads, serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. And lastly, this is 1 Timothy, the first chapter, verse 12. And it reads, and I thank Hamashiach Yahweh our Lord, who hath enabled me, for that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. See? Verse 13, who was before a blasphemer and a persecutor and injurious, but I obtained mercy. See that? Because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. And the grace of our Lord was exceeding abundant with faith 
in love, which is in Hamashiach Yehoshai. And uh, matter of fact, let me get a precept or a land back, rather. Uh, Lamentations 3 and 22. And it reads, it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. Right, verse 23, they are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. So, you know, that's pretty much the point of this lesson. Just a quick hit. With that, Lord willing, you are edified. Once again and forever, all praises, honor, and glorification unto our mighty, marvelous, and wonderful power. Call Halaim La Alahayanawa Yehawah by Shemi Awashai by Shemakakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, whom rule well once again. Salutations as well as health and wellness unto the hopeful elect of Yehawah by Shemi Awashai scattered across the earth. See you in the next lesson, Lord willing. Wa Yehawah by Shemi Awashai, Babakasha, Ababa, Wa Shalom, DTA, soon and stay sharp. And you sense your Akimah Akwath keep pushing. Shalom.